So welcome again to the Love, Peace, Harmony Field Wellness Practice. So we're going to be doing our practice in the field. And so right now, you turn on all of your divine endowed treasures, all of you, I'm quite sure, um, know that a divine treasure is something that uh, was given by the divine. And Master Shah has given everybody on hu um, humanity, on Mother Earth, treasures, even if you don't know it. So turn them on, you know, and we're going to do our practice um, to boost our energy, stamina, vitality, immunity, as well as to open our hearts further so that we can receive more as we do the practice. And just by sitting in this field, this powerful field, and I know many of you do have third eye openings, you have your channels are open, you can, you get messages, and if you want to, please share them so that um, Naomi can read it for us if you have, if you see anything and if you feel anything while we're doing these wonderful practices. Okay, so now I will do one, um, let, let us just do a very quick uh, soul power, which is saying hello. Okay, so you can place both hands on your lower abdomen or you can do different positions. You can do it with, um, you know, prayerful position or the soul light error, like putting one hand right in front of your message center, the other one facing heaven like this. Okay, this is called the soul light error, hand service position. And we'll say hello. Dear the love, peace, harmony field, we love you honor you, and appreciate you. We thank you for giving us this opportunity to be in this field so we can serve, so we can heal, so we can also transform and empower others as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are very, very grateful. Dear all of the holy beings, now you call in the holy being of your choice. Some of you may call in dear Jesus, dear Mother Mary, dear Divine, dear the Source, dear the Tao. I'm giving you a few seconds to call in whoever you believe in because they will come and they will support us. And we say, thank you, thank you, thank you for your presence here. We are very, very blessed. And many of you, I know, when you get up in the morning, you do, you have a ritual. A wonderful, wonderful things to do is do a forgiveness. Do gratitude, always say thank you, and then do forgiveness. Because, you know, Master Shah says we're not perfect. And not only in this lifetime we may have made mistakes, but in past lifetimes, we may have made mistakes. And so that is what we would like to do when we do our forgiveness, that we say to all the souls that we have hurt or harmed in all of our lifetimes, please forgive us. We know in our hearts that in order to be forgiven, we need to serve. And you know, by coming here, I am serving. I am making others happier and healthier, and I am empowering them as well. We also call the souls that have hurt us as well as our loved ones, and we say to them, we love you and we forgive you unconditionally, meaning we hold no hatred, we hold no animosity or revenge towards you, only love. And when we can feel love towards people who have hurt us, that is really unconditional forgiveness. So we need to do that. And we say we are grateful that we have this opportunity to do a forgiveness, to do our gratitude, to do our practices in this powerful love, peace and harmony field. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
So the first practice is to open our hearts, okay? And there is a very powerful, sacred, vibrational sound that opens the heart and or a heart chakra, okay? And when we can release and open our hearts more, what we're doing is we're bringing in the light from this powerful field, bring it in all the way down to your, well, you can go to your first soul house or if you, if you don't know um, where to bring it, bring it to your lower abdomen, then shoot it up to your message center area or your heart chakra. And you say, ah, ah. We'll do it three times. Breathe in. Bring it up. Ah. Breathe in. Breathe up to your heart chakra. Ah. And when you are exhaling with the ah, what's happening is you're bringing that light in the area that you want open or healed and you're releasing the negative messages, okay? So these negative messages that we carry on our soul does not serve us. And so the more we do these practices, we are removing. And slowly, if you're having some health issues or relationship issues or financial issues, do these practices so that you can remove the blockages in your finances or the blockages in your relationships, okay? So one way to do it is to do using vibrational sounds, or you can even say breathing in, breathing out, open my heart further. Breathing in, da I greatest love. As you know, love melts all blockages. So use positive mantras to release or remove these negative messages from your heart and soul. Okay? So now that our hearts and souls are open, what we're going to do is we're going to do practices with the animation. And we're going to do the first practice we're going to do with our uh, finance area, which is really our Lord Dantian, okay? So let me share. And I'm hoping that you can see the animation right here. Can you see this? Step one. Yes. Thank you. Now, step one is as you can see, it says heal and transform finances. But this is the flourishing center, the um, Lord Dantian area. And as you see the animation, you're going to see where that Lord Dantian is because that light is going to go there. Okay, right here. Chang Shang. Breathe in the light, first soul out, up. Chang Shang. Chang Shang. Chang Shang. Chang Shang. Chang Shang. Breathe in. Chang Shang. As you can see, what happened was you saw the golden light ball, like really purifying, clearing, cleansing that area, bringing more light there, condensing that light, developing that area. This helps to remove the blockages in our finances. And also, if, if you put the intention to boost energy, stamina, vitality, immunity, 
that area does that as well. Okay, so you can put in your intention, but I will use um, Chang Chang at this time, and we'll go and do the second part. Chang Sheng, 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 Chang Sheng. Oh, we are so very, very blessed to be able to do these practices with Master Shah. Now, the next practice I'm going to do is step three. We're going to go breathing in, and then you're going to see that this will help to... Oops, let me play this. I'm going to... Chang Shang. Okay, you saw it went up from the first soul house to the Lord Dantian, and then third soul house, and then down. Now, these areas really help to boost our energy, stamina, vitality, immunity, as well as heal and transform finances. So we're really blessed because we're doing so many things with just this one practice. And then the light ball will go up and this energy will go up to your, you know, there's two invisible hole by, uh, right by the tailbone area. And then it goes up your spinal cord and then down to the seven soul houses and then into your third soul house where we can, where our oil lamp is. This is the Kungo, okay? And that's how we fulfill and we actually rejuvenate when the oil is being filled up. When we do these sacred practices is when we can bring and fill up this oil in our oil lamp and then purify the other parts as we're going along with the light bulb. Okay, so we'll do this part. Powerful. This is for rejuvenation, prolonging life as well. Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng. Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng. Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng. Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng. Chang Sheng, 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 Chang Sheng. Chang Sheng. Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng. Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng. Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng. Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng. Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng, Chang Sheng. Chang Sheng. 
昌盛，昌盛，昌盛，昌盛，昌盛，昌盛，昌盛，昌盛，昌盛。长生，长生，长生，长生。好 ，Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. I'm checking the time. Okay, we're going to go and do the healing channel. This is the healing circle, the Qi channel. Remember. The ancient um, traditional Chinese med medicine teaches, right, that when energy moves, the blood starts to flow. But when energy is stuck, you know, then what happens is the blood is stagnant in one place. And that is how we, our illness start to come up. And we have tumors and all these kinds of sickness that we want to remove. So this is one of the most important practices that you need to do all the time because it clears the seven soul houses, which is the spaces in your body and the largest part of your um, body, which is the Y jaw. And so when you are clearing those spaces, the energy will start to move, the blood will start to flow, clearing the areas that, you know, the blockages are. So we will do this Chi channel practice, which is also called the healing channel. Okay, so let us do this. Oh, wait now. We're going to go, um, you can do uh, practice by, if you want to do some movement, put your hand like this and you can go. This is the active part. And you know, every as you're going up, you can see that you're purifying the soul houses here. Then when you go down, it's the Y Chow area. Okay. So we go up and down. And then you turn your hand when you get down and you go up. So the other palm is facing up, down. Then you turn. When you come down to the bottom, you turn your hand. So this palm is up. Okay. So you go all the way down to the bottom. First of all, turn your palms. Try that. Okay, okay, go up, down, now when you're all the way down, turn your palms, turn your palms, and go up again. So we go, hey, hang hong ha shi wang yo. Then you turn your palms and we'll continue, all right? And then we do the opposite when we do the matter channel or the jing channel. Okay, let's begin. Hey, hong hong a shi wong yo. 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 Okay. Now, I want you to close your eyes when we do the next practice, the same practice, visualizing the light. You're breathing in the golden light ball to your first soul house and see the light inside of you going up to seven soul houses. Many of you call it the chakras. Master Shah received the message from heaven to call it soul houses because this is where our soul resides, you know, the majority of humanity, their souls reside in the first, second, and third soul house. But when you get to become an enlightened being, 
it goes up to the heart chakra. Then goes even further. So as you are purifying and clearing these areas, right? I want you to visualize the light ball inside of you, purifying this area, developing this area, clearing, okay? So close your eyes now and do the practice with visualization, okay? Hey, hong hong a si wong yu. 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 Wonderful. Now we're going to do the matter circle, okay? Now the matter circle, as I showed you, is the matter with the energy, the light going up the opposite way. From your spinal column, it goes to the, you know, um, invisible hole, goes up the spinal column, and then down. And then you're going to see it passes through the third soul house where the kungun area is fulfilling the oil, as we said, so that we can rejuvenate our lives, so that we can um, prolong our lives as well. And you know, as Master Shah teaches that um, Kungung area, when you're born, it's born healthy, it's, you know, filled. And as we age, it depletes the oil lamp, in the oil in that lamp depletes. So when you're like 50 years old, the oil is just halfway full. And if you get sick, it comes down even more. So once that lamp, the oil is depleted, we transition. Our heart stop, stops beating. This is traditional Chinese medicine teaching, okay? So this is really um, the spiritual way. And you can't fulfill this oil um, by taking vitamins or, you know, it has to be done through spiritual practice. And this is one of the ways to do it. And we are so blessed because Master Shaw has it for us right here. To, this one is to rejuvenate, transform our life, and prolong our life. Okay? So let us begin. Go close. Yo. Wong yi shi a hong hong hei. Yo. Wong yi shi a hong hong hei. Yo. Wong yi shi a hong hong hei. Yo. Wong yi shi a hong kong hei. Yo, wong yi shi a hong kong hei. Yo, wong yi shi a hong kong hei. Yo, Wong yi shi a hong hong hei. Yo, wong yi shi a hong hong hei. Okay, now we're going to do one more time. But this time, what you're going to do is you're going to close your eyes, but I'll still play it. 
we're going to close our eyes. It's not to shut us. When you close your eyes, you go inward, you know? So close your eyes, see that light. The ball is going through your spinal column, column or your spinal cord, okay? And then all the way down, purifying, developing those areas, okay? So let us do this one more time. Close your eyes. Yo, Wong Yi Shi A Hong Hong Hei. 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 How? Meaning everything is perfect, all is well, wonderful. You know, today we are in the field. We have so many of you joining us, doing these practices. It's so powerful. And you know, as you visualize yourself getting healthier and healthier, it's because the blockages are being removed. Okay, so I would like to end with a happy note. Let us sing happy, happy, happy. I hope my... For joining me today be happy because when you're happy and you're smiling what happens it's like laughter is the best medicine it you know creates these natural um, endorphins in your body the brain releases these things and when you're happy you're you start to heal as well so I want each and every one of you to be happy all day long. Continue your practices. So thank you, Ursula. Thank you, Tamara. Thank you, Susan, Mercedes, Miley, Joan, Kenshi, Gary, Claire, Betty, and Akara and Naomi. I'm so, so grateful for your presence here today. Aloha and mahalo. Bye. Thank you. Bye.